I was wondering um, what the relationship is and the story that's around um, inner conflict, how that relates to the forces of antagonism. Um, dramatizing inner conflict on screen is the most difficult task a writer can take up. Inner conflict, of course, in the novel is the, the sum and stub, substance of, of novels because the novelist can, um, in first person, have somebody confess their life and describe their inner conflicts uh, out of their own mouth. Uh, they may or may not be clear or right about what's really going on inside of them, and they can be, as we say in, in prose, an unreliable narrator, and we have to read between the lines uh, to understand the inner conflicts in a character who is um, confessing uh, their life, uh, as it were, to the reader. In third person, of course, the, uh, the novelist can uh, go right into the character's head and describe their conflict between uh, good and evil, between right and wrong, between understanding and confusion. Um, they can dramatize that beautifully right on, pa right on page. But in the performance arts, when you're writing for the theater, when you're writing for uh, film and television, uh, there you have to rely upon the actor and the actor to bring that inner life to life within their performance and the actions and the, the dialogue of the character has to imply that inner life. Now, in the theater, you can, we have a convention of uh, soliloquy or uh, direct address. And so you can have an actor, a, a character, uh, come right down to the apron of the stage and uh, talk uh, to, the, to the audience directly about the struggles going on within them, what they think about this, but then uh, deny that, and they want this, but they can't have that, and, um, and about their struggles within. But on film, uh, direct address to a film audience uh, rarely, rarely works. It's, uh, it strikes us as very uh, uh, pretentious, even, in, uh, and uh, <coughs> um, heavy-handed in film to, um, to break the fourth wall, although it's been done. Uh, when it's done, it's usually a film like uh, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where it's done for comic effect. Uh, so in film and television, uh, you have to imagine, you have to put yourself in character, imagine what it is going on in this great conflict within a character, and as they go through life trying to get this and trying to do that, how this inner conflict would affect their choices, the way in which they behave, what they say, what they do, what they don't say, when they can't even speak, uh, and all the rest, and that it is no easy task. It, it requires a vivid imagination of, uh, if I were this character in this situation, what would I do, and an understanding of how inner conflicts affect outer behavior, because the camera cannot photograph thought. And so, um, um, but the best way I would think to, um, to try to get a grip on that is to get films uh, in which you have characters um, full of inner conflict. Get um, um, uh, The Sopranos. Uh, Tony Soprano is one of the most conflicted characters ever put on, on screen. Get uh, Six Feet Under. Uh, the characters in Six Feet Under are beautifully written, and uh, they are always uh, struggling with uh, conflicts within. Get a great film like uh, The Verdict, uh, written by a great playwright, David Mamet, and um, see how he handles it uh, with his, the Paul Newman's character, Frank Gavin. And so I think um, you understand that you've got to create the inner conflict within yourself and then, as if you were the character, and then find very uh, imaginative um, and um, true ways in which that would manifest on the outside, study really excellent work and see how other writers have managed to do that, and then put yourself inside of your own character and um, and uh, and uh, write outwardly uh, what is the result of an inner conflict.